spot Just for two way my kids not picking at you I wanna know what's on Test drive time in a 1976 Chevy Nova This one here is really clean It's got a 305 that's matching numbers Still got the cop Power steer, power brakes, AC We're gonna be trying that out, hopefully it works <laughs> Paint it's actually pretty clean guys the interior is nice as well and it's only 11.9 so that's not bad for a nova be sure to check us out maplemotors.com 100 detailed pictures financing and shipping is available dual exhaust out the back and every single week on mondays we're updating with new rides this week will be closed july 4th and 5th all the way through till monday we'll be open again monday all right it's about that time let's go full ride well the buzzer works this one's showing 6,313 miles. It's a 72 model now. It could be 106,000. I do see that. I mean, look. Look at this thing. Super clean. Needs a, a light for the interior. Needs a dash pad. It's got the cover. See how faded it is. It's got a little crack there. It's got grandma's picture in the trunk. I think it's the lady that used to own this car one time which I thought was really cool I was like man things, you never get that kind of information but today we did and at 11.9 this one won't last long does the AC work doubt it but let's try oh it's already trying it's on dang blower motors not trying to work with us here radio We'll give it a second, but it doesn't seem like it. Wipers? Well, it needs a few things. We can see that already. Radio, wipers, um, gas gauge. We're at half a tank. That's good. Turn signals. Yeah, I see them popping up. That one's not flashing, though. I can hear it. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works after all that? I'll just say, yeah, I haven't tried it. <laughs> Woo! I mean, sensitive. All right, let's hit the road, see how it runs and drives. Right, guys, got your own head cam here. Let's go ahead and take off. Now, this is the first time I've driven this. Uh, pretty much every test drives like that. I pick out flaws and, and stuff that's wrong with the cars because, I mean, this was born in 1976. And unlike other dealers, we like to pick out everything that's wrong with the vehicles. Don't be tricked, just saying. At least get somebody that's going to be up front with you and show you everything. Now, the steering on this one, pretty tight. Brakes feel good. Back into our throttle. Let's put her to the floor and see what happens. Pick, pick it up. Decent. Look at that. Okay, so our kick down is hooked up. The speedometer's working. We just hit 60. Getting in our brakes. Very smooth. This is a good driver. A little squeaks out there on the brakes. I hear them. As soon as you touch the brakes, they stop squeaking. Oh. Well, this one seems to be running pretty good. Yeah, it does sound like all the brakes are squeaking. But you can tell this one has been sitting for a little while. There's literally cobwebs, like dust on the motor. I was like, wow. So you know she's been in the garage for a while. Had to be with the beautiful paint on it. It is not in bad shape at all. We'll go over here to this parking lot. I want to light up the undercarriage for you. And of course, we're gonna go to picking out the flaws, which will be at the end of the video. Chips, scratches, rusted dents. So stick around for that, guys. I'll be right back.
know, guys. You know, get a little wet back there and stick it. Yeah, got you on the windshield. So now I can see everything. That way you're not all tilted like this while I'm going down the road. Wouldn't that suck? Nope, got you set up. Now, the only thing that I notice about this car is the brakes are squeaky. They stop awesome. They actually stop really fast. They just make a lot of noise. So you've got uh, air controls messed up, radios messed up, wipers messed up, and the brakes squeak. What do you hear in the trunk back there? Oh, why, that's a giant plaque of information about the car. That's what's rattle rattling around back there in the trunk. Uh, so yeah, you take that out and you're good. Love having tons of information about the vehicle. Any information we ever get, we leave with the rides. And guys, like, let's say by the end of the video, you're like, Nick didn't show this. Call the lot, ask for more information if you're interested, and we'll get you hooked up. Uh, what are you doing, sir? Are you going left? No, hazards, but your lights are out. Gotcha. Here we go. Yeah, a lot of squeaking. Does run and drive good that's for sure just have to get the service on the brakes suspensions not bad at all now you're gonna hear it rattle because of the big plaque I'm telling you this thing's like takes up the whole trunk and it's sitting back there and every little tiny bump we hit you hear it shaking now here's the bump give her a listen yeah same thing I told you is gonna happen that and Tweety Bird stopping the car. Woo wee, man. It's the end of the day. I've got six minutes left to work. Please share this video, hit subscribe. I'm pulling back into the lot and picking out the flaws. It's coming up next. Thanks, guys. walk this ride anything I find you'll know about it coming around that front end nice clean front bumper here pretty clean headlight bezels you know it's got a little bit of fading on it see a little fading over here too on the bezels but they're not that bad not so bad at all coming down the side tires wonderful shape fender wells Light scratch here and there. Hazy spot here on the side of the car. Chips at the bottom. You got some hazy spots here on the door too. Like chemical. Not chemical peel, but more of orange peel. Chips on the side. It's a line in the paint. That comes up spot here a little dirt on that back bumper there back to midsection a lot of these little dry looking spots should come out with a little wax Scuff here on top of the fender. Hazy trim. Uh, that's just a marker mark. I'm going to wipe it off. Pops probably tried to go yellow and he ended up going pink. <laughs> a 
Mirrors look good. Light scratch up here. Some dust up there. Mark here. So on that back side. Your back window looks good. You need a package tray though, and there's no liner there, no speakers. Coming up on the back bumper. Chrome looks good. Spots. Tail lights look good. Jams. Trunk here. Solid trunk. A little bit of moisture in the trunk though. Feels kind of damp. You've got documentation like crazy. Oh wow! I wonder if that's that lady used to own this. She may have. Very cool. Bubbles right there on the edge. Drippy there around the fenders. Hazy here at the bottom. You got some spots there on the side. A little drips there. bubbles in the door <laughs> scuff there back window not bad scratch here scratch here down your pillar here that's thick paint indentions in the paint there on the door a couple chips on the front windshield all right let's check out the interior buzzer works Go ahead and start her up. A little fading there on top, headrest. Seats have been redone. Package tray needs to be redone. Headliner is nice and clean. Needs a light. Dash pad here needs to be recovered too. They just got the cover on it right now. It's kind of eating up. And just faded. Got some cracks.
Motor's still got to Quiet motor. Paint this one on the edge there. Put it down with the hood. See if we can get her shut all the way. There it is. It's just dirt, mainly that I'm seeing on the hood. Hey, got some dirt over here too. Guys, detailed pictures, financing and shipping is available on this one. Just go to maplemotors.com and check it out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later.